Hello YouTube, today I'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak iOS 5 Beta 3, which Apple just released today. Uh, you should note that there are a couple issues with this jailbreak, like you won't be able to run third-party apps, which is pretty serious. Hopefully there will be an update to Red Snow that will fix this issue, but for now I'm just going to run through it really quick and show you how you can do it. So you can, it's basically the same instructions as the first beta. Uh, you can find a link down to the article on how to do that down in the description. And you're going to need a, and just follow the directions in there. Basically you're going to need Red Snow a co and a copy of the iOS 5 Beta 1. Note that you don't need the copy of iOS 5 Beta 3, but I have that because I just installed it on our iPod Touch. So go ahead, you can go ahead and open up Red Snow, and it'll ask you to browse for your IPSW. So I'm going to go and find that folder. Or I have the disk image open here. And you should have the first beta. And so just open that, and it'll process the firmware. and then once you do that, hit next. It'll go through and process all of the parts of the IPSW and it'll say patch and kernel, which should last for 10-15 seconds. And then it'll go to the next screen. First, you're just going to want to have install Cydia checked. And you should note that this is a tethered jailbreak, which means that after we go through the first step, you're going to have to go back and boot tethered. Otherwise, it won't work. And you'll have to boot tethered every single time you want to reboot your device. Know that that doesn't count respringing. You can still respring without plugging it into the computer. But if you want to do a full reboot, you're going to have to plug it into the computer and run Red Snow to boot it tethered. So go ahead and hit next, it'll tell you to turn your device off, so go ahead and do that. And next we're going to put it into DFU mode. So first we wake it up by holding the home bu or power button for 3 seconds. Then keep holding the power button and press the home button and hold that for another 10 seconds or a few seconds after the screen goes dark. Next release the power button or the top button and continue holding the home button for another 15 seconds. But it should go to the next step after about 7 or 8 and so then it'll go through, it'll say jailbreaking and everything and that progress bar down there will go through a few times. Uh, once it does that you'll see a bunch of white text flashing on your screen and or first it'll say downloading jailbreak data that'll say uploading RAM disk and once it's done on here the rest of the process takes place on your device and you'll just see a bunch of white text flashing by. Uh, if you want a sort of longer video then you can go and check out the tutorial for the first beta. It's basically the same, but I go into a little more detail about it. But once your device gets through the whole process of jailbreaking and Red Snow says done, uh, you're now going to have to open Red Snow back up and go through another process to untether it. And uh, basically what you're going to do is your device should boot up just fine, but City will be a blank icon. So go and follow all the steps again. Browse for the firmware. Um, let it process it. and then go to the next step and now instead of install Cydia we're gonna select just boot tethered right now and then go and follow the same directions to put it into DFU mode after turning it off. So hold power button, then hold home and power for 10 seconds. Then release power and hold just the home button for 15 seconds and it'll go the next step after about 7 or 8. You'll say waiting for iPod touch and you'll get and it'll look the same at first but then it'll say uploading first stage uploading second stage and then it'll just stop after waiting for reboot and you'll see a pineapple on your screen and that means that it worked if you see anything other than a pineapple on your screen uh, go back and do it again because you did something wrong 
And that's the whole process to jailbreak. So I hope this video helped. Once again, you can check out the text instructions or slightly longer, more in-depth video over at the article. I'll put a link to that down in the description. But that's all we have for now. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe.